those who I wish to protect. I will fight you. Welcome back to the online scrub. I tried to record this video last weekend, but the video messed up on the on my capture card. I don't really know what was going on with that, so I lost a nice little bunch of footage, so I'm trying this again. Also, I noticed that when I was recording, normally I sit pretty far from the mic, so now I'm sitting with my face like right up next to it, which is very uncomfortable. But we'll see if the audio comes in a little bit clearer this way. If you hear any noise in the background, that's either the PS4 sounding like a jet engine or my refrigerator because I have a fairly small apartment. So anyway, I picked, a, picked this game up when it first came out, but I didn't really play it because, well, there's not much to play since I don't know how to play, so... Uh, I went ahead and popped it in like last week, messed with it a little, little bit. I still haven't figured out how to play, I'll just mash buttons and see what happens. I got a few wins in though, so I was kind of impressed by that. I'm pretty bummed about this game. I mean, it had the potential to be pretty cool. I saw some, the first trailer I was not impressed, and then I saw some of the up, update trailers, and like when they fixed the graphics and whatnot. I was like, this could be something right here. And then when they released this game, minus like pretty much all single player content, so there's like nothing to do. I mean, if you're good at the game and a tournament player, you can play online and have all this fun, but if you're a regular Joe like myself, you just can shoot fireballs and do hurricane kicks and that's about it. There's like nothing here for you. Just getting beat by people online. Uh, I know more content is coming, but it's like I probably should have held off. I was actually not going to buy this game because they censored it. Like some things like Cammy's uh, camera angles and Armika's butt slap. I was kind of like, oh, that's just lame. I'll just pick this game up. Use. But uh, I started collecting statues. I guess I might do a video on that, show you what I have. I don't really have, I don't have an impressive collection of dolls, I mean action figures, but I do have a few. Since I went to Japan, I picked up a few, and I plan to buy a few more. So yeah, it comes with this Ryu statue. I was kind of like, man, I want to get that Ryu statue, but I don't really want to buy it. And then Amazon announced this thing where they gave you 20% off on pre-orders. So I was kind of like, well, if I pre-order it, it's only going to be like $70. And I get the statue, and the statue by itself could be like $50. That kind of mental gymnastics. So I ended up buying it, which was a mistake. I mean, really, if you want to play Street Fighter V, go down to the red box, spend a dollar, two dollars, rent it for an evening, and you'll get your game so your money's worth. I know there's more content coming down the road, coming going down the road. I know in March, at the end of March, that they'll add basic content, and then in Ju June, I think it is, they'll they'll add the uh, the uh, story mode, which is like, how can you release your game without story mode? Man, it's amazing, especially after Mortal Kombat 9, that amazing story mode in that, and then 10 wasn't that great, but it had a story mode, and Guilty Gear, Dead or Alive, pretty much every fighting game has all these features, but for some reason, Street Fighter V doesn't. It just blows my mind. I can't believe they released it like this. This game could have been pretty huge, but they kind of capped it by that, so we'll see. Maybe people will turn around on it, but... For me personally, I just don't really, I don't, I don't have any motivation to practice and get good and play it really, since I don't have any friends. That's also a little thing about me that I kind of noticed. When I was growing up, I played fighting games a lot with my friends. I'd come over, we play, have a good time, whatnot. Now that I'm an old man, I don't have any friends, so it's like I buy these fighting games. Like I bought Smash Brothers, Guilty Gear, Dead or Alive, and all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I gotta play this game, and I get it. It's kind of like, well, wait, I have nobody to play with. So there's that. But yeah, I keep buying them anyway. However, I did have a. I need. I, I guess I could probably try and get into some kind of online community. I mean, I've, I've joined forums and message boards and whatnot, but it's like it's not the same. Playing people online is not the same as playing with your friends all together. You know, eating pizza and joking and whatnot. So I just can't recapture that magic. So I should probably stop buying fighting games, but I just keep buying them anyway. I had a Pokémon on pre-order, but I. 
accounts with that just recently, like yesterday. I figured I don't actually want to play a Pokemon fighting game.